Dr. One here coming with uh, another video for you guys of a little project I did with extra stuff I had from my airport and other stuff I bought. I had never put on my airport, uh, such as the Hanna building, uh, appeared once on my airport way back when I got the original long terminal, um, extra other stuff is something like this uh, road I came with the Delta or terminal or smaller one extra Delta aircrafts since I have every aircraft in the uh, Gemini Jets has made of Delta or the new livery of course that there was just way too many uh, 737s it was like sevens triple sevens that all of them are never going to be on the airport at the same time, so another reason why I did this. And then, of course, the buses. Uh, I have the US Airway buses. I think these are JC or HERPA buses. I bought, and then, of course, some of the extra GSC, such as the stair cars, or stair trucks. And then, of course, the maintenance scaffolding, which came out a couple of months ago, that I never used on my airport since I don't have a maintenance area or anything like that. But yeah, let's get into this. Um, so obviously you guys are probably attracted to the light. Um, and this is Gemini Jets. As of now, none of the heinous come with lights, the pitch black inside. That's why I ended up installing lights. I'll show you guys that a little bit closer later on. But Let's just take a view here. We have buses. I don't know what this is supposed to be exactly. Um, it's supposed to be just drop off at rental cars or parking garages. I don't know. But here we have a 767. Not 767. Extra scaffolding just seen outside. We're going to have some 737s all lined up in a row. That poster I actually printed offline. I think it looks pretty good. I'll put photos at the end here. Maintenance scaffolding, these are actually two sets. So you can see like these are the tail scaffolding parts. Um, and you can see them in there, right there, and right there. Uh, I just made like this giant like scaffolding thing around the aircraft just to make it kind of look different. Instead of just crowding the scaffolding on the tail, you can't really see anything. Um, try my phone does not fit in there, but there's the LEDs you can see, and you can see the wires that go through the windows. I actually had to cut the windows and cut one of the metal bars open and bend it open to get the wiring in. But um, I think it looks very good. Uh, other than that, so if you're probably wondering how does this work, well, oops, it's pretty simple. Uh, this stuff I bought at my local Hobbiton USA, you see I have, uh, the set for the light hub, came with two LEDs, they weren't this type of white though, they were yellow white, or warm white, I think they call it, so that's why I ended up buying the bright white or whatever they call it and that's why so it's kind of cool um it does have to plug into a wall or if you have a train layout you can plug into a train layout but let's see if i turn this knob these are the leds that come with it and you can adjust the brightness of it so it's kind of cool if i want to adjust the brightness the hanger. Actually, that did not look too bad on camera. <laughs> but we'll just turn it all the way off. Uh, see, that's that's what the hanger looks like right now with no lights. So big improvement when you put the lights in there. But now, how does the hanger light up? Let me unplug. If I can, let me unplug the LEDs here. 
since they are hooked in.